This is Evan Abrams, and today I'm going to teach you about the wiggle expression. And I'm sure a lot of you already use it, and if you think you know everything about the wiggle expression, well, you're wrong. But maybe when I'm done telling you some stuff, you might. Okay, so if we want to make this little dot wiggle around the screen, it's pretty easy. Hold down Alt, open up the position here, click on the stopwatch, type in wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E, open bracket, how many times a second do you want it to move around? Let's say one times a second, comma, and how much do you want it to move? 500 units, end bracket, wiggle, bracket, one comma 500, close bracket, hit the return key, and you've got something wiggling around. Pretty easy, right? Once a second, it's gonna move 500 units. These numbers both will change 500 units. Now. This works on pretty much any property. You can wiggle it however much, however many times a second you want. But that doesn't give you a lot of control over it. So to do that, if you want to control this stuff, go to the effects and presets, type in slider, bring out that onto your layer, and you'll get something that doesn't affect the way the layer looks at all, but it will change the way a lot of things work if you use expressions. So, for example, we want this slider control to control the intensity number. Um, and so, we want to replace the 500. Just select, select the 500 here. Use the pick whip. Come up to the slider. And release. And you're good to go. So now, once a second, it will change the slider number. In this case, zero. But let's crank that up. Let's crank it up to like a thousand, or whatever. And now it's gonna be just bit bopping and scatting all over the place. But you can also keyframe it. So, keyframe, zero. Go ahead a bunch, and now put it up to a thousand, or a hundred, or you know, something like a bajillion zeros. And you can see that, you know, things start off pretty normal, and then it starts going crazy. And so that's the idea, that you're able to control what this thing is gonna do. Uh, let me just bring this back down to reality. Oops, there goes gravity. So, you're able to keyframe using the slider control. And you can use slider controls for both the time and the amount. So, go ahead and make as many slider controls as you want. But we still don't have control of the individual X and Y movement. So, in order to do that, you wanna make this as simple for yourself as possible. So let's change the expression and let's start adding in some variables here. We know we want to control the X and we know we want to control the Y and in the end we want it to look something like X comma Y. Basically, and this is kind of complicated, but in the end it's going to be an array of two things, the X variable comma the Y variable that will make up the X and Y positions. So the X equals, in this case, let's say something like 960 semicolon, make sure to put the semicolons at the end of things, y equals 540 semicolon, and then at the end we anticipate that it will be 960 comma 540, and bam, that is true. So now let's go ahead and change these now that we know the core of it works. Okay, so let's replace the 960 and the 540 with something like wiggle, open bracket, once a second, change 500 units, close bracket. And then on the Y, we'd like you to wiggle, wiggle 25 times a second, and wiggle only uh, 10, no, maybe like 50 units or something, and end bracket there. And here's one part of this expression that's really important. When you use the wiggle, it's going to return an array that is going to be the same size as the thing that you were putting the wiggle on. So in this case, it's like we're saying x equals something comma something, y equals something comma something. And I know it's pretty complicated, but here's just how to fix it. Where you have x down here, put in a couple more square brackets, open and close, put a zero there, and the y, open and close, and put a one. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to reference back to only one half of the arrays and blah 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 but the important thing is that this will prevent an error hit return you're off to the races so
You can see it's moving left and right by a certain wiggle amount. It's moving up and down by a certain wiggle amount. So by breaking things up into the two variables, you're getting control over both of them independently. And that's pretty important to this particular thing. And then from there, if we go back to the original example of the thing that I showed you um, in the first 15 seconds of this video, you can see I've got some fairly complex nonsense going on in mine in which I'm using a whole bunch of sliders to control the amount, the time interval, and again the amount and the time interval again, just so that I have total anal retentive control over all parts of the wiggling. Um, I do not like uncontrolled wiggling unless it's on some spicy Latin dance floor, in which case you'd wiggle all you want. You'd go crazy with that. But when it comes to controlling the motion of things, sometimes you don't want them going all over the place. And another thing to know about the wiggle is if I start duplicating this layer, bam, I have another one that's exactly the same, but its motion is completely different because it's got a whole new amount of wiggling going on. And that is because the wiggle is random dependent on the index number of the layer. So this is wiggling index 14, this is wiggling index 13. Basically that just means if you apply the wiggle to a layer and just start duplicating it like crazy, you're gonna get a bunch of totally different results. But at the same time, if I start adding in other layers, changing these index values, I'm gonna start affecting the wiggles I've already made. So if you're happy with the way something's wiggling, when you start adding layers, you might not be happy with how it's going. Now, if you wanna control what random seed it's using, type in S-E-E-D, capital R-A-N-D-O-M, open bracket, any number, close bracket, and press return. And that's gonna mean that this will reference the random seed or the random number of one. So if both of these layers complex wiggle 2 and complex wiggle 1 both use random seed 1 they're both going to be on top of each other and I can change this to be random seed 4 or whatever but if you want to pin down what the wiggle is going to be then you're gonna need to put in a random seed before the rest of your script and that'll lock it in and so no matter what layers get put in above or below or whatever, it will always have the same random motion. Still be random, but you'll be able to control it. So this is Evan Abrams. You just learned how to wiggle like a pro. And so get out there and bust a move with your wiggling. Wiggle, 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 yeah. And uh, that is my favorite LMFAO reference for the day. I'm gonna go listen to that on vinyl because I was getting stupid before it was cool. I'm Evan Abrams. I hope you like this. If you have any questions about expressions or wiggling or anything in general, just hit me up in the comments or something like that. And uh, thanks for watching and sharing and subscribing. And you guys are all pretty friggin' awesome. So uh, I'll see you around the internet and have fun.